Hello everyone! Today you will have a new lesson about introduction to microprocessor. A microprocessor is an important part of a computer architecture without which you will not be able to perform anything on your computer. It is a programmable device that takes in input perform some arithmetic and logical operations over it and produce desired output. In simple words, a microprocessor is a digital device on a chip which can fetch instruction from memory, decode, and execute them and give results. Microprocessor, any of a type of miniature electronic device that contains the arithmetic, logic, and control circuitry necessary to perform the functions of a digital computer's central processing unit. In effect, this kind of integrated circuit can interpret and execute program instructions as well as handle arithmetic operations. Microprocessor is a controlling unit of a microcomputer fabricated on a small chip capable for, of performing ALU or arithmetic logical unit operations and communicating with the other devices connected to it. A microprocessor as, is an integrated circuit or IC which incorporates core functions of a computer central processing unit or CPU. It is a programmable multi-purpose silicon chip, clock-driven, register-based, accepts binary data as an input and provides output after processing it as per the instructions stored in the memory. Another definition is the microprocessor, the central unit of a computer system that performs arithmetic and logic operations, which generally include adding, subtracting, transferring numbers from an area to another, and comparing two numbers. It's often known simply as a processor, a central processing unit, or as a logic chip. It's essentially the engine or the brain of the computer that goes into motion when the computer switch on. It's a programmable, multi-purpose device that incorporates the functions of a CPU and on a single IC or integrated circuit. But how does a microprocessor work? The microprocessor follows a sequence, fetch, decode, and then execute. Take a look at the block diagram of a computer. Initially, the instructions are stored in the memory in a sequential order. The microprocessor fetches those instructions from the memory then decodes it and executes those instructions until stop instruction is reached. Later, it sends the result in binary to the output port. Between these processes, the register stores the temporarily data and ALU performs the computing functions. A microprocessor accepts binary data as input, processes the data, and then provides output base on the instructions stored in the memory. The data is processed using the microprocessor's ALU or arithmetic and logical unit, control unit, and a register array. The register array processes the data by a number of registers that act as a temporary pass access memory locations. The flow of instructions and data through the system is managed by the control unit. Here are the list of terms used in a microprocessor. Instruction set. It is the set of instructions that a microprocessor can understand. Bandwidth. It is the number of bits processed in a single instruction. Clock speed. It determines the number of operations from second the processor can perform. It is expressed in megahertz or gigahertz. It is also known as clock rate. 
Next, word length. It depends upon the width of internal data bus, registers, ALU, and so on. An 8-bit microprocessor can process 8-bit data at a time. The word length ranges from 4 bits to 64 bits depending upon the type of the microcomputer. Data types. The microprocessor has multiple data type formats like binary, BCD, ASCII, signed, and unsigned numbers. Let's proceed to the features of a microprocessor. Here is a list of some of the most prominent features of any microprocessor. Low cost. Microprocessors are available at low cost due to integrated circuit technology, which will reduce the cost of a computer system. High speed. Microprocessor chips can work at very high speed due to the technology involved in it. It is capable of executing millions of instructions per second. Small size. Due to very large scale and ultra large scale integration technology, our microprocessor is fabricated in a very less footprint. This will reduce the size of the entire computer system. Versatile. Microprocessors are very versatile. The same chip can be used for a number of applications by simply changing the program or instructions stored in the memory. Low power consumption. Microprocessors are usually manufactured using metal oxide semiconductor technology in which MOSFETs are metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors are working in saturation and cutoff modes. So the power consumption is very low compared to others. Less heat generation. Compared to backlin tube devices, semiconductor devices won't emit that much heat. Reliable. Microprocessors are very reliable. Failure rate is very less as semiconductor technology is used. And last, portable. Devices or computer system made with microprocessors can be made portable due to the small size and low power consumption. Let's proceed to the classification of microprocessors. Based on word length, RISC or Reduced Instruction Set Computer, CISC or Complex Instruction Set Computer, and special purpose processors. First classification of microprocessors is based on word length. Based on the word length of a processor, we can have 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, and 64-bit processors. RISC is a type of microprocessor architecture which uses a small, general-purpose and highly optimized instruction set rather than more specialized set of instructions found in others. RISC offers high performance over its opposing architecture CISC. In a processor, execution of each instruction requires a special circuit to load and process the data. So by reducing instructions, their processor will be using simple circuits and faster in operation. RISC has simple instruction set, larger program, consists of large number of registers, simple processor circuitry or small number of transistors, more RAM usage, fixed length instructions, simple addressing modes, usually fixed number of clock cycles for executing one instruction. Next classification, the CISC is the opposing microprocessor architecture for RISC. It is made to reduce the number of instructions per program, ignoring the number of cycles per instruction. So complex instructions are like made into hardware making the processor complex and slower in operation. 
this architecture is actually designed to reduce the cost of memory by reducing the program length. Complex instruction set, smaller program, less number of registers, complex processor circuitry or more number of transistors, little RAM usage, variable length instructions, variety of addressing modes, and variable number of clock cycles for each instructions are the features of CISC. How about the special purpose processors? There are some processors which are designed to handle some specific functions, such as DSP or digital signal processors, coprocessors, which is the processors used along with a main processor, input or output processors, and transputer or transistor computer. Let's talk about the DSP or digital signal processor. This processor is spe specially designed to process the analog signals into a digital form. This is done by sampling the voltage level at regular time intervals and converting the voltage at the instant into a digital form. This process is performed by a circuit called an analog to digital converter, A to D converter or ADC. A DSP contains the following components. Program memory. It stores the programs that DSP will use to process data. Data memory. It stores the information to be processed. Compute Engine. It performs the mathematical processing, accessing the program from the program memory and the data from the data memory, and the input or output. It connects to the outside world. Its applications are sound and music synthesis, audio and video compression, video signal processing, and 2D and 3D graphics acceleration. Its examples are Texas Instruments TMS320 series, TMS3040, TMS3206 C50. Next is the coprocessors. A coprocessor is a specially designed microprocessor which can handle its particular function by many times faster than the ordinary microprocessor. For example, the MAT coprocessor. Some Intel MAT processor are 8087 used with 8086, 8287 used with 8286, and 8387 used with 8386. Next, the input-output processors. It is a specially designed microprocessor having a local memory of its own, which is used to control I.O. devices with minimum CPU involvement. For example, the DMA or direct memory access controller, keyboard or mouse controller, graphic display controller, or SCSI port controller. And last, the transputer or transistor computer. A transputer is a specially designed microprocessor with its own local memory and having links to connect one transputer to another transputer for interprocessor communications. It was first designed in 1980 by Inmos and is targeted to the utilization of VLSI technology. A transputer can be used as a single processor system or can be connected to external links, which reduces the construction cost and increases the performance. The examples are 16-bit T212, 32-bit T425, the floating point processors such as T800, T805, and T9000. So that's all for the introduction to microprocessor 
And here are the examples of microprocessor. Intel Core 004, the first microprocessor. Intel 8085. Intel 8086. Intel Pentium 4. Intel Core i7. And AMD Athlon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.